Hi, how are you? This is Brian M. Curran from DraftingServices.com and this is a tutorial video that I'm making right now and it's called Creating a Simple Line Type in AutoCAD and that's uh, indeed what we're, what we're going to do here um, to give you an idea of how this is done and uh, for you to go off on your own and uh, make your own, your own line types. Um, the first thing I'd like to point out is that this is a simple line type as opposed to a complex line type. Um, those are your uh, two different, uh, uh, or that's the distinction that you have within line types. Um, the complex line types are not that complex. You could do it, I'm sure, pretty easily. Um, but in this video, I'm covering a simple one. Um, on the outside, I'd like to um, note a couple of things about um, that's unique to this video. I'm using AutoCAD 2007. My, my Windows operating system is uh, Windows 7. Um, you're going to want to know about the operating system uh, in just a minute. Um, there's two steps to this process to create a simple line type. The first step is to find the acad.lan file. Second, edit the acad.lan file. And upon edit, completion of the, uh, editing, editing the file, you will have created a line type. All right, so now uh, let's get moving forward. Um, from this point, we want to um, find the file. And in order to find the file, um, the acad.lin file, you're going to have to, within your um, explorer, in your um, operating system, you're going to have to show the hidden files. If you're not familiar with, uh, if you're not familiar with that, um, then type into um, Google, find out what your, your operating system is, say it's Windows 7 like mine, and then type in files Windows 7 and it'll show you how to do it. Um, it's really easy. Um, so let's open, uh, I'm in AutoCAD 2007, like I said, let's create a new file. We'll pick anything, open, and um, this is this is this is where I'm going to show right now. I'm going to show you where the L, the dot lin file is located. So I went to the layer properties manager just on layer zero. Click line type, click load, and now click see my lcat my acad dot lin file. That's the file that it's looking at for all these line types. Now click this browse. This is where the file is located. Now, like I said, you have to show in order to see this in that, in order to browse here in your explorer, um, you're gonna have to show the hidden files because it won't let you go this it won't let you go this far otherwise. Um, so I have already done that. Um, I've already browsed to this location. Here's my uh, acad.lan file. The first thing that I um, that I am gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy, which I already made right here. So I made a copy of the file as a backup, you know, just in case anything gets me messed up. And now I'm going to open this file. This file could be opened in Notepad or any type of Notepad type editor. I'm using Notepad++, Notepad++ which is a program that's free and that I like. So here we have the, um, now we have, we have accomplished the first task. We have found the LIN file and not only have we accomplished the first task, we started on the second task which is to edit the file. So this is our file, like I said, that contains all the different line types. And here is one line type right here, right? And now, if we, in order to better understand this line type, which is very simple, we go back to AutoCAD. Let me cancel out of here. And we're gonna go to the help. I'll press F1 and hide my help. Now, what we type here, if we go in our help menu, which I already have it pulled up, type in line type, and from line type, you're gonna be able to scroll down to simple. Double click on simple, and then here we go. We have everything that we need to know to understand the definition of a line type. And I'll read these first two lines for you just to kind of set it out. And then you could go and browse through the, um, um, the rest of um, what's written here to get a, a fuller understanding of it. But it says each line type is defined on two lines, which we've already seen uh, in, a, um, in a line type definition file. And that's the LIN file that we just opened. The first line contains uh, the line type name and an optional description. The second line is the code that defines the actual line type pattern. The second line must begin with the letter A, followed by a list of pattern descriptors 
that define pen ups, which are spaces, pen downs, which are dashes, and then dots. You can include comments in an LIN file by beginning the uh, line with a semicolon. So let's um, hop back over to the line type file and uh, we'll open that up and then I want to scroll down to this last part and back open. So a positive decimal number denotes um, a pen up, which is a dash. Negative, I mean, sorry, pen down, which is a dash. Negative number, pen up, which is a space. And then a length of zero draws a dot. So here we go. We have our, um, uh, we have the name, we have a descriptor of the, um, of the line type. We begin with an A. We have a positive number, which gives us a dash, a negative, which gives us a space, and a zero, which gives us a dot. So we have positive, negative, positive, negative, dot. Positive of 0.5, negative uh, space of 0.25, and uh, positive 0.5 is a dash again, and then a space again, and then a dot. So we're going to modify this to create our own line type. So I just copied it. I go down to the end of the file. Autodesk gives us a, a place to user define line types, it gives us a place to put in our own um, line type. So I'm gonna do this, paste it right here. Just give me, I'm gonna give myself one more. And then I'm gonna write uh, video tuck line type okay and then we're just going to modify this so we're going to take out this we're going to modify the magnitude so we'll take out all the decimals and not only will we modify the magnitude but we'll we'll, we'll put a 10 here uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll try 10. So we'll put a 10 here. Space 10. And then we'll put a 10. See how this turns out. So I saved it. So now, oops, want to give it a change the name BMC dot save it. So now we just created this, this line type. So if we go into AutoCAD, now we're going to want to compare the, from uh, what we started with. So we could just see the contrast in the two line types. Um, so I'll go, I'll open my um, uh, Layer Properties Manager. I'll click on this, I'll load, and I'll load the first line type. So border. Okay. And I'll apply border. Okay, apply, okay. I'll create a new line type and I'm gonna load, now I'm gonna load the one we created. Okay, okay, apply, okay. So now I'm gonna compare. So we have, and then this is the line type we created. See the difference? We modified it. So there you have it. That's creating a simple line type. I'd like to note that this is a way to create a line type. There are other ways to create line types, just like uh, in most instances in AutoCAD, there's numerous ways to accomplish a single task. So thanks for checking out my um, video and have an excellent day.